Since time immemorial, mankind has asked itself a question that arouses great fascination. What lies beyond what we know? What exists beyond the limits of our universe? The answer is extremely complicated, yet the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered something massive and fascinating in the far reaches of the cosmos that could revolutionize physics. What exactly has the James Webb found at the edge of the universe? And why are scientists so excited? We invite you to join us to explore how this telescope has discovered something gigantic at the limits of what we can observe. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video, and turn on the notification bell. Albert Einstein developed the theory of gravity that revolutionized Newton's theory, and in 1916 he applied it to the universe. This theory showed that the universe could not stand still and must be in motion, expanding or contracting. In 1929, the astronomer Edwin Hubble observed that galaxies were moving away from each other, a result of the Big Bang. This is the expansion of the universe, where the distance between galaxies is constantly increasing. In theory, we can easily explain an infinitely expanding universe or one that curves back on itself, like the surface of a ball in higher dimensions. Some argue that the universe has an edge since it was born in the Big Bang 13.82 billion years ago. Therefore, we can only observe galaxies whose light has traveled a distance of less than 13.82 billion years to reach us, forming a spatial sphere centered on Earth called the observable universe. In reality, the universe is 92 billion light years across, and the limit of the observable universe is the cosmic horizon, similar to the horizon of the sea. We know that there are an infinite number of galaxies beyond it, but their light has not yet reached us. The James Webb Space Telescope, being 100 times more powerful than Hubble, can detect the faintest infrared light from the earliest galaxies in the universe, as well as planets and other stars in their habitability. However, we do not yet know what the telescope will observe when it is pointed toward the edge of the universe. The universe is divided into the observable and the unobservable, with the observable encompassing everything we can see by detecting radiation with our eyes. The limit of the observable universe is the cosmic microwave background, produced 13.8 billion years ago when the universe was opaque like a dense fog. Some experts believe that there are gravitational waves and neutrinos coming from even more distant places, although this cannot be verified due to the lack of technology. Cosmologists suggest that to better understand the universe, one must consider that what we observe is only a small part of a larger reality. Finding galaxies like Abel 2744Y1, which lies at the farthest edge of the universe, can help us better understand this reality. Although this galaxy is so far away that it takes 13 billion years for its light to reach us, scientists can observe it in its youth, about 650 million years after the Big Bang. The Spitzer, Hubble, and James Webb telescopes work together to discover this galaxy, as each uses different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum to capture data. By combining data from all three telescopes, astronomers can examine galaxies that are up to 100 times farther away than any telescope could have observed on its own. Astronomers from the Astrophysics Institute in Canada and the University of Al Laguna used the Hubble Space Telescope to discover the galaxy Abel 2744Y1 and calculated its distance and number of stars using Spitzer's equipment. They also employed a gravitational lensing technique which is like a magnifying glass that focuses light from distant galaxies through galaxies closer to Earth. The galaxy is small compared to our Milky Way, with a width of about 2,300 light years, but its star formation rate is 10 times that of the Milky Way. The redshift of the galaxy Abel 2744Y1 is 8, indicating that its light has been pushed toward red wavelengths due to the expansion of the universe. Before the discovery of Abel 2744Y1, the farthest known galaxy had a redshift of more than seven, but now astronomers have found something even farther out. A supernova called Death 16 C2 NM, identified through a dark energy survey. Supernovae are incredibly massive explosions representing the last effort of a star before it dies. To understand how stars work, we must observe their death. Massive stars burn enormous amounts of nuclear material in their cores, generating large amounts of energy. This energy creates pressure that prevents the star from collapsing. When you see a star in the night sky, it is because there is a balance between two opposing forces, gravity pulling inward and the energy released by nuclear burning pushing outward. 
When a star runs out of fuel, it begins to cool, and the pressure decreases, allowing gravity to take over, causing the star to explode into a supernova. This process happens quickly, in a matter of seconds. A supernova can also occur when two stars collide. The Death 16 C2 NM supernova is extremely rare and was discovered in 2016 by a multinational team of astronomers. This star is a Type II supernova, meaning it has reached the end of its life and has exploded in a cataclysmic explosion. The explosion is believed to have occurred about 10.5 billion years ago, having traveled to us for more than 34% of the history of the universe. Due to the expansion of the universe, the supernova is much farther away than it appears to the naked eye. The Death 16 C2 NM star was particularly interesting because it was a dark supernova, which means it did not emit much visible light and was therefore difficult to detect. However, it was possible to detect it using telescopes that could see the infrared light emitted by the supernova. The team of scientists involved in the discovery of Death 16 C2 NM also had the help of three powerful telescopes, including the Melian Telescope and the SEC Observatory. It took five years and more than 500 nights of observation to identify this distant supernova, which was a great challenge. However, the team's efforts were worthwhile, as the great distance of the supernova will allow them to better study and understand superluminous supernovae and the causes behind these massive cosmic explosions. Supernova explosions of the magnitude of Death 16 C2 NM, or any Type II supernova, would have significant consequences for the surrounding galaxy and potentially even for the entire universe. This explosion releases an enormous amount of energy, primarily in the form of neutrinos and photons, which would interact with the surrounding gas and dust to create a shock wave that travels outward at thousands of kilometers per second. This shock wave would cause the surrounding gas and dust to heat up, emitting a burst of radiation detectable across a wide range of wavelengths, including visible light, radio waves, and X-rays. In addition to the burst of radiation, the explosion would also create heavy elements like iron, gold, and platinum, which are essential building blocks for planets and life as we know it. These heavy elements would be dispersed into the surrounding galaxy, enriching the gas and dust and providing raw materials for future generations of stars and planets. Overall, a Type II supernova explosion like Death 16 C2 NM would have far-reaching consequences for the surrounding universe and would play a crucial role in shaping the evolution of galaxies over time. Through analysis of the ultraviolet light emitted by supernovae, scientists can determine the amount of matter produced and the temperature reached in the explosion, which is crucial to better understanding these events. The difference between Death 16 C2 NM and other supernovae, such as Vita Rouge, lies in the type of supernova explosion. The Death 16 C2 NM is a Type II supernova, which occurs when a massive star runs out of fuel and collapses on itself, causing a catastrophic explosion. Vita Rouge, on the other hand, is expected to eventually become a Type II supernova, but it is currently classified as a red supergiant and is likely to explode as a Type IIP supernova, which is a less powerful and less catastrophic type of supernova. Supernova explosions of the magnitude of Death 16 C2 NM, or any other Type II supernova, would have significant consequences for the surrounding galaxy and potentially even for the entire universe. Now, experts are looking for other distant supernovae, and more are likely to be discovered in the future. Exploring the universe and understanding its vastness is one of humanity's greatest pursuits. As technology advances, we gain more tools to unravel its mysteries. Among these, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, stands out as a monumental leap forward. Launched in December 2021, the JWST is equipped with advanced instruments that allow it to observe celestial phenomena in unprecedented detail. Its capability to peer into the infrared spectrum means it can see through cosmic dust and gas, revealing structures and objects that were previously obscured. One of the key features of the JWST is its large primary mirror, measuring 6.5 meters in diameter. This mirror collects more light than its predecessors, enabling astronomers to observe fainter and more distant objects. By studying these distant galaxies, scientists can gain insights into the early universe, particularly the period known as Cosmic Dawn, when the first stars and galaxies began to form. Understanding this epoch is crucial for piecing together the history of the cosmos. As JWST continues its mission, it is expected to contribute significantly to our knowledge of dark matter and dark energy, 
two of the most enigmatic components of the universe. Dark matter, which does not emit light or energy, makes up about 27% of the universe's mass. Its presence is inferred from the gravitational effects it exerts on visible matter. Dark energy, on the other hand, is thought to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, comprising approximately 68% of the total energy content. Both of these phenomena remain poorly understood, and JWST's observations may help clarify their nature and role in cosmic evolution. In addition to examining distant galaxies, JWST is also tasked with studying exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system. With its ability to analyze the atmospheres of these distant worlds, JWST can look for signs of habitability. For instance, the presence of water vapor, methane, or carbon dioxide in an exoplanet's atmosphere could suggest conditions favorable for life. This search for extraterrestrial life is a fundamental aspect of modern astronomy, as it challenges our understanding of life's potential diversity in the universe. One of the most exciting aspects of the JWST mission is its potential to study the enigmatic concept of habitable zones. These are regions around stars where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist. Finding exoplanets within these zones is a major focus, as such planets may harbor life. JWST's capability to measure the light spectrum of these planets can reveal much about their atmospheres and surface conditions. Moreover, the JWST is expected to play a significant role in our understanding of stellar evolution. Stars go through life cycles that vary dramatically based on their mass. Massive stars have shorter lifespans but explode in spectacular supernovae, while smaller stars like our Sun evolve more gradually. By studying the remnants of supernovae and the formation of new stars from stellar nurseries, astronomers can gain insights into the processes that govern star formation and death. Another area of interest is galaxy formation and evolution. Galaxies are the building blocks of the universe, and understanding their formation is essential for comprehending the cosmic landscape. The JWST will investigate the merger and interaction of galaxies, which play a critical role in their evolution. By observing these events in detail, scientists hope to gain insights into how galaxies grow and change over billions of years. As we look further into the universe, we also reflect on our place within it. The discoveries made possible by telescopes like the JWST raise profound questions about existence, purpose, and the nature of reality itself. Philosophers and scientists alike ponder the implications of finding life elsewhere or understanding the fundamental workings of the cosmos. In addition to scientific inquiry, the exploration of space has societal implications. The knowledge we gain about the universe not only informs our understanding of the physical world, but also inspires future generations. The images captured by JWST and other telescopes spark curiosity and wonder, encouraging young minds to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM). This is vital for fostering innovation and addressing challenges on Earth as many technologies developed for space exploration have found applications in everyday life. Moreover, the collaborative nature of astronomical research fosters international cooperation. Scientists from around the globe work together on projects that span continents and cultures. This unity in pursuit of knowledge demonstrates the shared human spirit and the universal desire to explore the unknown. The journey of discovery is ongoing, and as we await more findings from the James Webb Space Telescope, the anticipation builds. What new galaxies will we discover? Will we find evidence of life beyond Earth? Each answer leads to more questions, fueling the quest for understanding. As the JWST turns its gaze to the universe, it serves as a reminder of the vastness that lies beyond our planet and the intricate tapestry of the cosmos. With every observation, we inch closer to unraveling the mysteries of space, time, and existence. The potential for new discoveries is limitless, and the future of astronomy is bright, inviting us to dream bigger and reach farther into the unknown. The journey is just beginning, and the wonders of the universe await our exploration. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, the integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning in astronomical research is revolutionizing data analysis. These technologies help scientists process vast amounts of information collected by telescopes, 
identifying patterns and anomalies that would otherwise go unnoticed. This synergy accelerates discoveries, allowing for more efficient exploration of celestial phenomena.